Hi, this is Charting Man Dan of TheChartGuys.com, home of technical analysis education. Click the link for a free week trial, no credit card required, and gain access to our multiple live broadcasts daily, community chat room, educational videos, nightly watch lists, and more. Invest in your education and future and join the community today. Hey everyone, checking in on natural gas. So we're still in that same range, but at this point, the bulls are closer to breaking it in terms of resistance and heading to higher highs. The 10 day moving average is now 255 and acting as support. If we were to lose this level next week, that would be some fuel to the downside. We would be looking at 250 and 245 as the next levels. The weekly, however, is a bearish reversal hanging man. We did hold the upper Bollinger Band support on the back test. That level next week is going to be in the upper 250s. If we see a red week, a loss of the weekly upper Bollinger Band and a loss of the 10 day moving average, those are your bearish signals for DGAS entry. We know DGAS is right down at the lows near $9. It is setting incrementally higher lows, but certainly struggling. $9, 906, 909, 9.11, you get the idea. But the natural gas bulls are very close to a break. Looking at the hourly chart here, zoom out. Look at all of these rejections. One, two, three, four, five, and now actually that's not updated on the daily chart. We now have some higher highs. So this is a bullish break of that 263 resistance. It is now support. Bulls are going to have to continue this momentum very strong into next week to negate that weekly bearish reversal hanging man and to keep this upper Bollinger Band as support for the entirety of the week. So there is no doubt and no denying that the bulls are in control of natural gas the question is, can they keep this breakout going on the weekly time frame and keep trending above this upper Bollinger Band? So now that we have broken 263, next resistance that we are looking at up here at 272, 270 is going to be a psychological resistance. And there was a 267 level. I'm not seeing it here on the weekly time frame. Likely need to zoom out and find that on the daily chart, which we can do real quick up here. 2673, the high from back in September, the end of September in 2015. That's the next resistance. So those are the levels to keep on watch. And keeping in mind, if you are bullish, it's going to require high volume and strong continuation to keep this move going. We've seen a month of straight bullish action so far. So congrats if you are a bull, and we'll see if it continues. I appreciate you watching. Have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. The Chart Guys community has compiled trader tips from dozens of traders over the last year and put together a free ebook you can access by clicking the button and entering your email. Have a wonderful night.